All right, let's begin. Today we're talking about an object called JIT.rota in Max 8. And I just want to let you know, this is probably not the first time that you've seen me in this video space. But this is, however, the very first video I recorded in the studio. So bear with me as we get going here. JIT.rota is an object that allows us to do translation. Oh, that's not right. That's the whiteboard. There we go. It allows us to do translation in the x and y direction and rotation and all sorts of other 2D transformations of a matrix in Jitter. So there are some things about this that are really straightforward. So for example, taking a video, moving it to the left and to the right, or to the up and to that up and down in the destination window, or taking it and spinning it around. And there are a couple of other things that aren't quite so straightforward. So I'll introduce Rhoda, and then I'm going to show in this video the concept of an anchor point. So here's our patch. Nope, that's the whiteboard. There's our patch that we're working with. Up in the left-hand corner, I've got three default Max videos in a JIT.playlist. And I'm sending the output of this video, whatever I'm playing, sending it out to this JIT.rota object down here. And I can see whatever transformation I do to it will be in this lower window down here. So JIT.rota allows us to do things like move our video to the left and to the right. This is called offset. Offset x is in the horizontal or x direction. Offset y is vertical, so I can move it up and down as I drag this attribute inspector, these numbers up and down. I can also zoom in or out in the x or y direction. So I'll go ahead and put this back to normal so you can kind of see what this looks like as I'm zooming this out and zoom down, get bigger in the y direction here. Make sure to put these back to one be sure not to put these to zero when you're putting all your videos back to their kind of default state with their attribute inspectors. If you put the zoom to zero, guess what happens? The video is zoomed to zero. Then you can see nothing, zero pixels. So we'll put this back to one, and then we have our normal video back. So JIT.rota also allows us to rotate a video. And the attribute for that is called theta. So here, We'll put this to zero, so I have no rotation happening on the video. And I'm going to slowly drag this up and down. So you can see I've got this kind of spinny video here. Usually, my guess is that when you're thinking about rotation or angle of rotation, what you're used to is degrees. So if I were to say, hey, turn around 360 degrees, right, you could do it you turn around 360 degrees. Or here's 180 degrees, here's another 180 degrees. So in Max, with the JIT.rota, it's important to note here that we are not talking about degrees. We're talking about radians, rotation measured in radians. So you have to get used to thinking about uh, units in pi, where 2 pi is a full rotation, or what you're used to as 360 degrees. So you can look at this chart over here to get a feel for what exactly those angles are. I'm going to come back and put this to zero and drag up this angle of rotation. Right, and we could put it to, let's say, pi, 3.14. And we would expect this to be 180 degrees, or half a turn. So I'm going to do that. And when I do that, something has happened. I am no longer seeing my video. So this might freak you out at first because you're like, great, what did I do? I can't even see my video. Did I break it? Is it still playing? I'm not even, I'm not sure. Um, and so to explain this, we have to look at something called anchor point. I'm going to come back to me for a second. Here we are. Now, when I was standing back here and I said, we're going to turn in 360 degrees, right? I turn around and I just, I turn from my center point, from my center pole here. And this is natural, right? We stand between our two, stand on our feet. We're in the middle, right? We're used to just spinning around in one spot. But I don't necessarily have to do that. I've anchored myself in the center. But what if I anchored myself somewhere else? What if I anchored myself over my right foot instead and then tried to spin in 360 degrees? Right, so this looks a little bit different. This spins me slightly differently. 
I could even change the anchor point more, right? What if I stuck my arms out? And then I anchored myself over on my right hand. And then I said, hey, stick this pole, right? Like a tether, uh, what's that game on the playground, tetherball, right? Let's say you've got a tetherball pole and you're gonna hang onto it and then you're gonna rotate around that pole instead. This looks very different. I think I'm off scene now. Oh, I'm back, right? This looks very different than rotating with an anchor point anchored to the ground right here in the center. So what we're doing on this max path with this video is right now we're anchoring up in the upper left-hand corner, like the tetherball. But if we wanted to change so that we're anchored in the center of the video, we need to switch our anchor point to whatever this xy coordinate is right here in the center. And to know what that point is, we have to know what our dimensions are of the video. So up here I have this, uh, this object here, jit.fps GUI, and I've switched it to DIM for dimensions. It's telling me that this video is quite small, 320 by 240, which allows me to know that my center point is going to be half of those dimensions. So if I said something like, all right, 160, that's half of 320 in the x direction. And then my anchor point for y, we're going to set to not 240, 120, that's half of 240. Aha, our video is back. We're upside down now. This makes sense. We have rotated our video 180 degrees or one pi radians. And now I've got something more like what I expected, a rotation from the center point. How do I stop this thing? 